Welcome, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith. Alan, looking forward to it today. Yeah, I think so, Martin. There's a really good buzz in the air here. And our match today is Berry against Blackpool. Thank you. Virtually back, yeah. isn't it? Missed the whole football season. Look at this, full house. And two teams, maybe, that wouldn't give the supporters too much to shout about this season in terms of going for silverware. I don't think the fans are going to be worried about dropping down a division, but um, it might just be one of the mill, an average mid-table finish, perhaps, for both of these sides. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Well, it's 4-4-2 for them today, but we think the middle four might be a diamond, Alan. Yeah, and it gives them a bit of solidity in the middle of the park, and I think uh, the onus is on the full-backs to provide the width in this shape. This is the Blackpool team for this match. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they could be a threat on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Cleared away by the goalkeeper. That's an easy cutout for the opposition, saw the pass coming. Goal news from Bradford. It's a goal for Millwall. 11 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Putting on the squeeze again and forcing an error, really a wasteful clearance. Adam. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Long. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Only partially away from danger. Stokes. Well, we can hear what's happening up at the Hull City KC Stadium with Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Hull City. 20 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. He's got his shot off now. That's a good block. The news from Alan McAnally was that Hull City had scored in that game. Apologies for cutting him short. And that's the first goal of the game. It's 1-0. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Can pull it back here to set up a chance. Goal news from Plymouth. It's a goal for Southend United. 27 minutes played, 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Stokes. Just missed, kicked it a little bit there, and pass goes straight to the opposition. It's been a penalty involving Wickham. It's a penalty for Burton Albion. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. Oh, clipped straight down the middle. No chance for the goalkeeper. 33 minutes played. 1 1. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. He spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Here's Thompson. Feeney. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. It's really passive play at the moment by the defending team. Pass threaded through. And it's behind for the goal kick. Well, you wondered how much money Milan had to spend. Here's your answer. Well, it uh, went on for a few weeks, a lot of negotiations by the sound of it, but in the end, about £70 million, pounds, maybe money well spent. And now Thompson, Feeney. And it's Thompson. It's a poor ball. Uh, free kick given. 
Well, he's spoken to the player. Just a little dressing down rather than a booking. Yeah, a bit of sensible man management from the man in black, and uh, you like to see that. Tried his luck, went for goal from optimistic distance and nearly found it. Yeah, it's a good effort. I think the keeper would have had it, though. Well, that free kick whistled away close to the goal. I reckon he thought he'd scored there because it was extremely close. And it's Thompson. Still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Added time. Going forward well. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close. Well, only he will know whether he was going for goal there. In the end, he nearly scored. Halfway through, and they haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half time. Well, it hasn't been the best, Alan, but you never know. It can only get better, Alan. <laughs> can only get better. I've forgotten that first half already. Let's hope for something slightly more inventive after the break. Penalty been given at the KC Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Portsmouth. He's put the ball down on the spot. Can he hold his nerve? Big chance to score. Oh, it's in the corner, the goalkeeper at full stretch. What a save. 47 minutes played. It remains 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Safety first there. And it's going to be uh, a throw here. Adams. hit that cross too hard and it sailed away played down the wing keeping the wide attack going Stokes that's when you need a defender to show his class and he's done just that goal news from Bradford it's a goal for Bradford City 56 minutes played 1-1 thanks Alan into the attacking third and they get it away well, they're sitting off the opposition here, and that can invite pressure. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Now, here, a try one now. Threw everything behind that shot, and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. Here's a goal from Bradford. It's a second goal for Millwall. 64 minutes played, 2-1. Oh, many thanks. Out guiding it through. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? He's in the clear. But what a good try, off the outside of the post. Certainly caught it, and I don't think the keeper was getting across to that. It's played to O'Shea. Good vision. Oh, it's close, Alan. Offside is given. He's quick enough. He doesn't need to do that. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. And now Thompson. Stokes, Adams, here's 
a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. Short passes, they're keeping the ball. No doubt about that, goal kick. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close. Well, I think he needed a bit more subtlety to the finish than just to put the laces through it and hitting the post is a bad miss. Well, we can hear what's happening up at the Hull City KC Stadium with Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Hull City. 75 minutes played, 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Adams. Nicky Maynard. Neatly intercepted. Good challenge here. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. Stokes counting down towards the end of the 90 minutes. Nine minutes left. Adams threads it through. The target at the front post. Oh, very easy for the goalkeeper there. Goal news from Charlton. It's the second goal for Bolton Wanderers. Four minutes remain. 2-2. Two -two. Thanks, Alan. Well, that's worrying. That could be a muscle injury. It's played to O'Shea. Adams. Jimmy Ryan. Thompson. Ryan. Lovely, incisive pass. But he's caught offside. Can you see what he's trying to do? It's all about the timing of the run. There's been plenty of warming up going on, and now I think one of the substitutes will be brought into the game. There's still a chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. But we're down to the last minute here. They're looking for a winner still as the clock runs down. Got to be. Well, his lace is behind that one. Took his eye off the ball, but not a bad effort. Finish level. Hi everybody, welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Uh, Alan's been assessing the conditions. Uh, it's raining. Is that going to help the attackers, do you think? Well, it normally does. Tends to lead to one or two mistakes from defenders. Looked at the forecast beforehand. I don't think this rain's going to let up. Our uh, next game for you is Coventry City against Berry. Well, no great mystery about these two teams, Martin. Both mid-table for me two evenly matched sides be interesting to see if it does work out that way and we'll know a little bit more come the end of this game but i don't think they're going to have too much excitement this season so this is how the hosts line up today well we think alan it'll be a 4-5-1 formation which can look a bit negative yeah but you look at the players in that five that midfield five and i think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man let's have a look at how the opposing team will line up today 4-4-2 but a diamond shape is how he's gone particularly during matches it may be that he's going to start with a diamond today yeah but I've seen this manager so he's going to try his luck not really tested the goalkeeper but sometimes it can look a bit too easy he made sure he made the save confidently yeah he did and he doesn't make too many mistakes this lad It's 
easy for the goalkeeper coming out to collect. Good vision here. Great chance. Terrific stop. And it's out for a corner. Corner played in. Oh, that's good defending. They can't get it away. Corner again. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does, and uh, it means the ball moves so fast across the surface, and uh, that's great for attacking quick play. Corner's taken. Well, he's hit the man guarding the front post. It's a poor corner. Kelly. Well, the building steadily here, working away. Poor on the ball. minutes played it remains nil nil oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally thanks Alan now Kelly Davis really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress oh time to get the cross now and here's the shot and they blocked it then Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Striding forward purposefully. Shot on. Good block. It comes out off the goalkeeper. Has it been a penalty involving Bolton, Alan McAnally? It's a penalty for Bristol Rovers. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Can he score? Can he keep his nerve? Strike? Yes, he can. Power and precision. Great penalty. 36 minutes played. 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Now, this is an interesting attack. Adams. Stokes. Shots on here. Oh, charge down. Now Jones. Delivered into the box. Well, they got it wide very well. The chance to get the cross in, but it's not turned out to be a very good... Guiding it through. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes... Of the down to the goal is gone with that clearance. Now the shot got in the way. So it's half time and we're still waiting for that first goal. It is level at half time. We did think it was going to be tight, Alan. We're not always right, but this time we were. Yeah, it's not been a bad game at all, but uh, nothing to split the two sides. I just wonder what will in the end. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Adams. Looking for an opening with some good controlled build-up. The shot's on! Alan.
Alan McAnally right on the button to tell us about a goal that's just happened elsewhere. It's a goal for Fleetwood Town. 51 minutes played. 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Adams. Luka Modric is on the move. We thought that was coming. It has been confirmed today, Alan. And the assistant referee has raised his flag for offside. So difficult, these decisions, but when he looks at the replay tonight, I think he'd be pleased, the linesman, he got it right. Substitution time. Stokes. Trying to thread a pass through, but not successful. Good vision. He's way off target. Can John Scott, that's John Scott, please make your way to the ticket office. You have your wife's ticket. Thank you. Stokes. Slip through. Beautifully timed. That slide tackle. Had he got it wrong, it would have been a penalty. This is the kind of uh, pitch that I think attacking players favour, Alan, don't they? I think they do, yeah, because uh, it means mistakes from defenders. And, uh, you know, a little bit of miscontrol. Loss of footing and uh, you're in. Looking for teammates in the middle. Tried to keep it down but couldn't. If he had of, I think the keeper might have been struggling there. Now Brown. Side able to dwell on the ball for very long here. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Adams. Come away with the ball cleanly. Great tackle. Substitution now for the home team. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a third goal for the home team. 69 minutes played, 3-1. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. To Jones. Well, then it goes. Well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Well, now they've got the ball, what are they going to do with it? And here's the shot. That's oh, a good save, he got a touch to that. That's a corner. These fans have had to be patient last 10 or 15, but uh, now they've got something to shout about if they get a good ball in the box. Now they do need an injection of uh, fresh enthusiasm from the bench. Corner swung in. Cleared away by the defender. It's a corner coming up yet again. In goes the corner. So the save made by the goalkeeper. Played to O'Shea. Well, here is the birthday boy. Trying to turn over the play here. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. I think the coach will be considering his options on the bench. And we have nine remaining minutes. Opening them up with a through pass. He's in. And in the shot go. Oh, what a mess. In a goalless game, what a chance. Yeah, that was the match-winning moment right there, right then.
couldn't. Left the defenders trailing now. Here's a chance. Turned aside there by the keeper. That would be a throw. Davis. Willis. Kelly. In quickly. In with a chance. Oh, how much difference that could have made. Well, I don't know whether nerves got the better of him because he was aware of how important it was to score there. And it's Thompson. Well, the clock is ticking on. Two minutes of play left. Got the opposition backpedalling a little bit. He's got his shot off now. Well, he's way off target. Well, here is that earlier incident, Alan. So close. Well, only he will know whether he was going for goal there. In the end, he nearly scored. Well, they know their football here, Alan, don't they? And they're not happy. Can put them in front here. It comes out. Goalkeeper out of position. And from close range, he really should have scored. Well, he should. That was a golden opportunity spurned. That's it, the referee is blown. Final whistle, and we finish level.